It is January 15th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. The highly anticipated state of JavaScript survey results are in, which can make or break the life of a JavaScript framework. You are not! <laughs> This year, it had nearly 40,000 responses, compared to just 15,000 last year. And let me tell you, the results are completely and utterly shocking, because that will improve retention on this video. For demographics, we mostly have developers over the age of 25, with at least three years of experience. The majority of responses come from the United States and Europe, and what's kind of surprising is that only 3% make more than 200k a year, and over 60% make less than 100k a year. The United States is by far the most well-paid region, with Nigeria down at the bottom. If you want to make more money, try to be born in the right country. Country. When it comes to gender, juggalos have a slight advantage, but juggalettes are not far behind. And non-binary genders have the highest percentage above 100k. But this might be a disappointing reality check. Going from a three-month JavaScript bootcamp to the Lambo dealership is not as easy as they make it sound. Now, when it comes to actual JavaScript features, Nullish Coalescing seems to be the most popular new feature. It's a great feature, but I was surprised at how many people are not tapping logical ass. A feature I use all the time, where you can assign a variable only when it's not already defined. But the real reason we all take this survey is to hype up the JavaScript frameworks we love and shit on all the ones we hate. The team behind the survey has done a spectacular job visualizing this data. Here we have a tier list where libraries are ranked based on the percentage of users that would use them again. At the top, I'm glad to see many of the technologies in my own stack, like Svelte, TypeScript, Playwright, and Vite. And Next.js made the cut here as well. Now, one thing that surprised me was that React came in higher than Vue. They're only separated by about 6%, but I would have expected Vue to be higher than React. In general, the older and more established a technology is, the more people tend to hate it, as we can see here with Angular down at the bottom. In my opinion, Angular doesn't really get a fair representation on this survey. It's been portrayed as the arch nemesis to React, and a lot of people out there just love to hate it, even if they've never tried it. It's done some awesome things over the last few years, and its score is improving. I project it to be the most popular framework by the year 2086. Also on the bottom rung, we have tools like Gulp and Browserify, which have been on the decline for a very long time. Most hated of all, though, is Cordova. As you know, I don't like to say bad things about other technologies, but if you want to build a mobile app with Cordova today, you'll have to navigate through a dumpster fire of unmaintained plugins. Another surprise is Gatsby being so low, which used to be an extremely popular React meta framework. It's been on a free fall from 88% satisfaction all the way down to 38%. And finally, here at the bottom we have Lerna, which was abandoned for a little while, but is now managed by NX. One thing to keep in mind with this tier list is that a low ranking shouldn't discourage you from using a technology. Find the right tool for the job, because everything here in the top tier will likely be replaced when the hype train rolls in next year. The tier only includes tech used by 10% of people, and there's a bunch of up-and-coming tools like Astro, Quick, and Solid that will likely disrupt this tier by next year. In addition to frameworks, I think there's a few libraries you should keep your eye on. In 2023, I've been playing with Tanstack Query, TRPC, and Zod. And another interesting thing on this survey is that front-end developers now use TypeScript more than vanilla JavaScript. This was unthinkable a few years ago, but something I predicted multiple times, because once you go TypeScript, you never go back. And that brings us to the final revelation. Under video creators, Fireship was ranked number one. I have no idea how we got to this point, but I'm extremely grateful, and you made my mom very proud. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.